What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This right here is the Gab Watch 3. It is a safe phone for kids to wear, but it's basically a smartwatch um, with a bunch of stuff built into it. It's actually a really, really cool product. Uh, keep your kids safe. You'll know where they are. Uh, they can call, text, you can track them, and they can play on it as well. So it's got a lot of cool features. We're going to go through it. This is the box that it comes in. Really, really nice box. Gab Watch 3. Inside the box, you're gonna find a charger. It does not come with a charging brick, so as long as you can uh, plug this into USB, either into a computer or another charging brick of some sort, uh, you're able to charge it, and then it just magnetically sticks on here really nicely and will charge the watch up. It does come with this little card that says activate or pair your device, and that's pretty much it. You can see, let's get the party started. So you will need to download the MyGab app on your phone, so do that and then hit open. If you haven't already, sign in with a Gab account or create one. So now that we have the app downloaded and we're logged into it and everything, we're gonna go back to the watch. So what you wanna do next is turn this on. All you're gonna do is press and hold this power button and that will turn it on. And you should come to a screen like this where it's asking you to basically uh, open up your MyGab app. So we're gonna go back to the MyGab app and open that up. We're gonna go to two devices and we're gonna hit add device. And what type of device we're gonna do in the Gab Watch 3? Accept. So at this point, you're gonna type in your child's name, date of birth, and if they're a boy or a girl, and then hit submit. Hit allow. It's now gonna search for the device, and mine is on right now. All right, so it looks like he found it, so I'm gonna tap on it. Select device, confirm and connect. It should now connect to it. All right, it now says connected. I'm gonna hit next. So it's asking me to set up a child Gab ID. This is a unique ID used to back up your child's data and give your child access to awesome Gab subscriptions by signing up your agree to our policy. So I can create a child Gab ID or I can sign in for my child. All right, so here's the watch. To turn the screen on and off, just tap the power button. This is the back button if you swipe down. You can access your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, or your flashlight. So if you're in a dark environment, you can have your kid do that and it'll turn on their flashlight and hit the back button, that'll turn it off. You can turn on and off Bluetooth. Wi-Fi, you can turn it on and off. If you press and hold these though, you can actually come in here and connect to different Wi-Fi networks as well. So if you wanna update your apps while you're uh, at grandma's house or somebody else's house, you now can. Uh, Bluetooth, you can press and hold that and connect to different Bluetooth devices as well, if need be. This is how you can change the volume of the device or the brightness. This is your home screen if you press and hold it. it. Doesn't do anything. If you press to the right, you have all of your contacts and I can just tap this. It will just go into uh, my name and I can text myself or call myself. If I call myself, in order to call, I have to swipe it and it will begin calling and tap this to control the volume that it goes through at. Can tap that to uh, connect to my Bluetooth headphones or if I have some connected. Hang up the call. If I wanna send a text message, I can do some things here. I can press this and this will allow me to write a message. I can tap in there and I can write a message with numbers or swipe to the left or the right or use my voice. If I choose a predefined message, I can just tap OK, and that will come through as a text message to my phone from my child. Swiping from the right to the left brings up your apps. You can tap this, and you have some apps in here. I believe this is a game. Yeah, it's a game, so you can watch. You can say two, one. It's gonna load up a game. It's like Simon Says. So you have a game right there. You have a clock, so if you need to set an alarm, you can hit that and set an alarm if uh, you need one. This is going to be your walking stats, so like it'll keep track of your exercise activity. Pretty cool stuff. This is your virtual pet, and you can choose a cat or a dog, and you can play with it, feed it. So kind of cool, we have all these little games on here. You also can keep swiping and you have more settings. This will allow you to change the theme of your wallpaper.
This is your notifications and you can go into ringtones, change different ringtones. Tons of different risk ringtones. Hit the check mark when you're done. You also have your bleep, so you can your notifications. You can see the call history of the person, what messages have been sent. You can tap. Going back to the home screen, if you swipe up, this kind of shows you a little bit of the same stuff we just saw a second ago. Here's the interface for my Gab app on my phone. And I can see the phone number, uh, his battery life. I can see when I last saw him, like when the app last saw him. I can play a sound, say he can't find his watch, I can press this and it will play a sound. I'm gonna hit okay. And then when I find it, just press that. I can press on locate and it will show on a map where exactly he is. I can call him from my phone. I can message him from my phone. I can go and control his volumes if I need to. I can reset the volume, see temporary reset watch volume. We try, I can still adjust the watch's volume, but I can do it myself. Gab Go is the ability to check what he's doing on as like exercise and things like that. Create, you can create tasks and manage repeating tasks and things like that. You can click the three dots right here and go to view profile or get directions if I'm trying to find him. So I'm gonna hit right here, I'm gonna hit view profile. And I can do all the same stuff I just did a moment ago. But I can also set up quiet time so that the watch doesn't make any sounds like maybe he's going to school and I don't want it to do that. I can just tap this plus sign and set all those times that you know he's at school so his watch doesn't go off. I can manage his text presets. I can, that way, way if he has trouble texting or whatever, I just want to make it easier on him. I can add and remove certain pre preset text messages. Can manage his contacts. When I manage it, it allows me to add and remove people and only these people he'll be able to contact and only they'll be able to contact him. If somebody outside of one of these phone numbers calls him, the, the phone or the text message will not go through to his watch. Can manage his Wi-Fi connections that he goes to. I can set up safe zones, um, which allows me to put zones in that which I'm not going to be worried if he goes into. And if he because if he goes into an outside zone of one of those things, it'll alert me on here. I have location monitoring on, so it always lets me know. And there you go. It's actually a really cool watch. I love the actions that you know not anybody can call or text him. It just will not go through. I'll show you an example of that. So I'm gonna call this phone number. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been. So you can see it will not go through, which is awesome. I love that. Super secure, doesn't have to worry about spam calls or anything like that. And the text messages won't go through either, just to show you. So I'm gonna type, hey, it's Greg. I'm gonna send that. And you can see nothing goes through. No messages are going through. So secure, easy to use, and inexpensive as well, guys. So check it out if you wanna pick one up. It's a very easy to use, nice watch for a kid. Thanks for watching. Everything's linked down below if you wanna pick it up with a discount code. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.